whenever there's an, a horrible act of violence like this where people die, um, when you're online, you tend to see people searching for an answer right away. In a lot of cases, if there is a social media profile of the person believed to have done that act, people will look for answers there. And so in the case of the Toronto attack, what people found when they started searching through um, an account that Facebook has now confirmed is linked to the suspect, they found a post that referenced a lot of these kind of incel memes. Incel stands for involuntary celibate, which is a pretty broad term, except as it con pertains to a kind of online culture, it means something very, very specific. In the incel community in particular kind of is all bound around this central thesis, which is that the reason that they are celibate against their preference is not because of them or men or kind of societal expectations about what makes a man, but because of women. On some of more of the extreme boards, you will see celebration of violent acts um, from people like Elliot Roger, who had a lengthy online history um, within the incel community before he killed six people in California in 2014. I've been forced to endure an existence of loneliness, rejection, and unfulfilled desires, all because girls have never been attracted to me. So if you visited one of the incels, um, more extreme message boards, in the hours after it was revealed that um, the Toronto suspect may have made a Facebook post that referenced their community, you saw some users kind of celebrating this, celebrating what he did. Um, one post talked about how horrible the women were in Toronto, with the, the heavy implication being that maybe some of the people who died deserved to die um, because of the way they had treated men.